Nothing quite makes the day better than enjoying a delicious meal with friends. While I love having dinner at any of the top spots across London, brunch is another unique way to connect. Breakfast or lunch? If you can't decide and you want a brunch option, then stay tuned to discover 10 of London's best spots for brunch. Regardless of budget, location, this video will feature options for you to experience. First up is Seabird at the Hoxton Hotel at Suffolk in South Bank for seafood and design. Located in South Bank, Seabird is a gorgeous hotspot for the design lover. On the 14th floor of the Hoxton Hotel, this stylish restaurant in London gives diners a brunch on Sundays that you'll be glad you didn't miss. Seabird's fresh seafood menu is exquisite. They even have London's longest oyster list. For Sunday brunch, their high-end seafood menu doesn't disappoint, with options including crab claw omelet, lobster waffle, and their take on afternoon tea called afternoon sea with plenty of choice. If you prefer to have larger options, you can enjoy one of their sharing dishes exclusively created for brunch. The whole lobster rice looks divine and perfectly matches with their Bloody Mary, which is an essential for London brunch. Brunch is only available on Sundays, so early booking is advised, and if you can snap up a place on the terrace, you can sit back and enjoy sweeping views of the city while you enjoy your incredible seafood brunch. Next is the Good Egg in Kingley Court in Soho for Middle Eastern comfort food. This Stuck Newington favorite, the Good Egg, has recently expanded to Soho and the local residents are delighted. Middle Eastern inspired brunch is available before the dinner rush so you can indulge in their budget-friendly comfort food. This restaurant showcases the cuisine of Tel Aviv street food stalls and the fair sold in classic Jewish delis and appetizing bakeries of New York and Montreal. Whether it's their shashakula for 15 pounds or other dishes, it creates a perfect brunch menu that packs a punch. Get a mimosa for a real treat or one of their tahini shakes. Plus the brunch options all day dining with friends, so if you prefer, you can definitely enjoy for a long period of time. Number three on our list is the Daisy Green on Seymour Street in Marleybond for an Instagram worthy brunch. You must visit this flower-filled brunch location, the Daisy Green in Marleybond, which is the original cafe within this gorgeous brunch chain in London. This Aussie-inspired menus across various locations in London use fresh ingredients inspired by Melbourne and Sydney. Menu items for brunch have both sweet and savory options. Sweet dishes include blueberry pancakes or peach melba coconut French toast, while their savory options include smoked salmon royale or the lovingly named the Bondi, pronounced Bondi. This dish has bacon, poached eggs, chili, and mushrooms and a whole bunch of other things on a charcoal sourdough. They have locations in Paddington, Soho, Regent Street, Victoria, and many others. You know you've picked a great option when each and every location across London still feels unique while offering delicious brunch options. Brunch is served from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. seven days a week with a bottomless brunch on Sundays. Next up on the list is the Mandrick located on Newman Street in London for a holiday vibe. Located in Fitzrovia, one of the most upscale and luxury areas in London is the Mandrick restaurant. The terrace feels like a tropical getaway from the busy streets nearby. The Harding Green vibes, bamboo chairs, umbrellas, and resident DJs all add a tropical vibe for you to enjoy anytime you visit. They offer a sharing brunch menu for guests, which comes with a choice of drink packages, including champagne or cocktail options. Some of my favorites from the tropical brunch menu include crab and fennel tostada, buttermilk fried chicken, and guacamole chocolate mousse. Unlike many other suggestions for brunch, they offer a three-course meal, which so it starts with a starter, a main, and sides. Brunch is available every Sunday between 12 and 4 p.m. and starts from about 65 pounds for sharing brunch. At number five is Park Chinois on Barclay Street in Mayfair for an Asian brunch like no other. If you really want to add some flair to your brunch, Park Chinois in Mayfair may be the most out there option in London. Not only do they offer an incredible Asian dining option, including their dim sum, but this is housed in a quirky venue with performers keeping you entertained. The space and the food is inspired by Shanghai supper clubs of the 1930s. 
Brunch is taken downstairs with the three course set menu for you to choose from. And Wagyu beef bowl for choice of for starters and mains, including their Wagyu beef. Desserts are essential and created by a pastry chef so you can enjoy and watch them from the stage. There's almost a circus-like atmosphere and vibe in this basement restaurant. Really makes for an outstanding dining experience. Brunch is served Wednesday to Sundays, or if you go in November, December, they'll also have a festive brunch menu. Next up is the Wolseley in Piccadilly and Green Park for elegant luxury brunch. While this relaxed and yet elegant cafe in Green Park is only available until 11.30, so it's technically more breakfast than brunch, it's definitely a restaurant you're gonna to wanna to visit. The location is elegant and luxurious, and there's even a no photo policy in place to keep the privacy of celebrity guests that often pop in. The cafe feels more like an elegant treat in the heart of Mayfair with fresh grapefruit, silver teapots, and Scottish smoked ham with buttery eggs that are mouthwateringly delicious. The servers are suited and feels like silver service you'd expect at any Michelin-starred restaurant across London. The menu stays quite classic with pastries and British specialties including bubble and squeak or even haggis and duck in a whiskey sauce. Due to the popularity, pre-booking is highly advised, even months in advance. Breakfast is served Monday through Friday, 7 to 11.30, and Sunday to 11.30 as well, for a relaxed dining experience. We have Abuela on South Hampton Street in Covent Garden. In the heart of Covent Garden, you'll find this easy location that is fantastic for brunch called Abuela. While the space feels quite small, it hasn't held back on color and taste. A long family style table and countertops filled with homemade cakes take center stage in the restaurant. Spices are used with skilled hands on the dishes available here that bring together the South American Australian fusion food thanks to the mother-daughter team from Australia who use inspiration from their Argentinian heritage. A barbecue croquet monsoor stuffed with slow cooked pulled pork and caramelized onions is just one of the top picks on the diverse menu. As expected, thanks to their Argentinian routes, the restaurant takes itself very seriously with incredible Argentinian coffee for the coffee lovers. Coming in at number eight is 45 German Street for a traditional British breakfast. Located just at the back of Fortnum and Mason on German Street in Mayfair, it's a popular spot for British breakfast in the heart of London. The bright orange leather sofas bring a brightness to the space and the quirky interiors are sure to uplift you at your, your entire day. Breakfast here is eclectic from English to soft crumpets and duck eggs as well as Fortnum and Mason tea or coffee. You must give yourself a little extra time to peruse the store before you sit down and indulge in your brunch. Brunch is available Monday through Friday, 7.30 to 11 and Saturdays 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. Born and Hollingworth Buildings is at, comes in at number nine on Northampton Road in Clerkenwell, which offers the original bottomless brunch. While you might be tempted to just pretty much walk by this black painted building, you'll definitely want to step inside the Born and Hollingworth Building in Clerkenwell for the delicious brunch options. The restaurant offers elegant, relaxed dining for Saturday brunch with ferns and plants strewn across the bright and airy walls and ceilings where you'll be transported into this garden-like escape in the city. This is the place for the elegant yet laid-back Saturday brunch and the brunch here is in fact one of the first to offer bottomless brunch options for Sundays so you can enjoy their incredible bellinis and cocktails. The crab and lobster dog is definitely worth a surcharge if you're feeling hungry as it includes poached egg, hollandaise sauce, toasted brioche, hot dog, and french fries. They offer, also offer sweet pancakes to satisfy that American looking for that classic American breakfast feature. Brunch starts around 35 pounds without cocktails and is served Saturdays and Sundays from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And last but not least on our top 10 list is Sunday in Brooklyn in Notting Hill on Westbourne Grove for a New York style brunch. Talking about classic American breakfast, you are in for a little piece of New York when you visit Sunday in Brooklyn located in Notting Hill. Take in the gorgeous pastel houses of Notting Hill and then fill up on buttermilk pancakes that you can order here. The restaurant is cool and has deep, rich, modern interiors, including outside seating for those warmer mornings, or you can just sit outside to watch the busy rush hour. 
If buttermilk pancakes are ticking your fancy, then you can choose from their healthy chai pudding, uh, Uggs, or classic American biscuits and gravy. The restaurant is open for brunch Wednesdays to Saturdays, although if you're heading there on a Saturday or Sunday, pre-booking is limited and saved mainly for walk-ins. Brunch is available Wednesdays to Sundays, 9 a.m. to 4.30. So will you be adding any of these to your must visit list for brunch spots in London? I know I will. As a buying agent, helping expats relocate to London, uh, the food scene as well as their professional lives definitely comes into account. So as far as looking for the right neighborhood. Getting to know the best spots in London is one of the reasons I love doing what I do. So if you're a foodie looking to be in the right spot for you, then please get in touch. Make sure to hit that like button. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe so you can check out my weekly videos. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to check out my other videos on my YouTube channel where I share great tips and information about the London property market and living in this fabulous city. So that's Ugo Renze with Onyx Property Team and Keller Williams. Bye for now.